we are doing a B1 English story, but in Gen Z language. Do you understand? Yes or no? So, there's this girl, Annie, right? She's been out here trying to level up her English game for a while now. Like, she's been binge watching all those language vids. Sliding into online classes and even catching some else in the comment section cause her grammar was kinda sus. But instead of getting all in her feels, Annie just kept grinding, you know? One day, she stumbled across this lit TikTok English tutor who was dropping mad knowledge. And he's like, okay, this a whole vibe. Sis legit started practicing every single day. And no cap, she went from what's up to flexing with idioms and slang like she'd been born speaking English. She even started throwing around those bougie words that make you sound like a total intellectual. But here's the real tea. Annie wasn't just trying to get good for cloud. Nah, she wanted to figure out who she was and learning English was the glow up she needed. She slid into international group chats hit up Discord servers, and Loki started dropping gems, like she'd been fluent all her life. Now, Annie's basically the GOAT when it comes to online English learners. She didn't just learn the language, she owned it. Big win for Annie, for real. Big ups to Annie. Mad props to you. Guys, did you understand what's going on? Or are you lost? I will give you the first 10 slang words. What does it actually mean? Loki, not the god Loki, but Loki, L-O-W-K-E-Y. What does Loki mean, guys? What's the meaning of low? Key. A low profile? Explain it. Ex please. Explain. Give me the simple synonym. That's the challenge. Give me the simple synonym. Like a low profile, being modest, being moderate. You're very close. Exactly. Not in secret. You are there, but uh... It means basically like a little or somewhat. Low key pretty cool. It's actually a uh, low key pretty cool. Well done. What is the meaning of to level up? To level up. For example, to level up your English. What's the meaning of to level up? It was in the story to level up, but what's the meaning of to level up? To increase, to improve, to be better, absolutely. You are totally right. You are totally right. To level up your English, to improve your English, to try and be better. Exactly. You are 102% right. Like the 102,000 likes. Thank you so much for supporting this live stream. We appreciate you. Liking brings more people to learn free English. So thank you. Level up, improve. All right, to binge watch. B-I-N-G-E, binge watch. What's the meaning of to binge watch? Sorry, jung it up. To binge watch something. What is the meaning of to binge watch? It just means to watch a lot. Exactly. To watch multiple episodes. Absolutely. It just means to watch a lot of something. For example, I enjoy binge watching Lucas his content. Right? I like watching Lucas's content. To binge watch it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Binge watch. To watch a lot of things at once. For example, a whole season of a movie you can binge watch. Alrighty. Sliding into English. Sliding into DMs. Sliding into. What does it mean to 
what does it mean to slide into something? You can binge, binge watch One Piece. Yeah, that's a good thing to binge watch. Absolutely. Tell me to binge watch. Sorry, to slide into. We are already at sliding into. What's the meaning? Attending, went into, yeah, 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 you're close. Sliding into just means entering or joining. Sliding into our community. Are you ready to slide into our community and level up your English by binge watching our content, which is low-key amazing? Right. Roasted. What is the meaning of roasted? R-O-A-S-T-E-D. Roasted. Not roasting a chicken on a barbecue, which is very delicious and makes me very hungry. Roasted. Like, you are roasted. Roasted means to badly hurt, no? To grill, no, not that roasted. Sing. Slang, not KFC. Slang, on fire, no. Luna, exactly. To criticize someone or to make fun of someone in a harsh way. When you're making fun of someone in a harsh way, get roasted. For example, if your English is uh, very bad and somebody criticizes you, your English is so bad, even my mom has a mercy on you. That's being roasted. All right, the most popular word, the most popular slang word. Us. That's very sus. What's the meaning of sus? S-U-S. What's the meaning of sus? Sassy? I don't know if you can say very sassy. I don't know if you can turn it into a... into that. Sus is of course the short for suspicious. Yes, suspicious. Very suspicious. Hmm, don't know what's going on, very sus. Yes, coming from Among Us. Definitely a slang word. It gives a impression that things are not the way they seem to be. You're very sus, you know that? Learning English on TikTok, staring at this guy for two hours, very sus. All right, catching feels, catching and feels, F-E-E-L-S, catching feels. You catching feels again? Not, not catching cats, Wayina, we are not talking about your 15 cats. Get roasted. Um, we're talking about catching feels. In love with, yeah, could be. In general, when we're talking about catching feels, it's either you're just getting emotional. When you're getting emotional, you're get, get catching feels, feelings, you're catching the feelings, or you're feeling hurt. Somebody hurt someone, they are catching feels. Somebody got hurt in that way. Getting emotional, feeling hurt, catching feels. Well done. Now an important slang word for English learning Grinding, which is what I do every day for you, of course. Grind and grind. G R I D I N G. Uh, very sus. It's also very sus. Um, but grinding. G R I N D I N G. You can grind to learn English, yes. Give motivation, no. No. Give me another one. Give me another one. What does it mean? Grinding. Something with teeth? You can grind your teeth, yes. In your sleep, that's grinding your teeth. But that's... We are talking about the slang word for grinding. Doing your best, close. Working hard with someone so close because it is just working hard. When you are working hard, you are focused, you're working seven days a week, you are grinding to a goal. You want to get this goal, you are working hard to make it there. You are grinding. It's not even working smart, it's just working hard. Grinding. That's just a lot of work, a lot of work. Grinding. Grinding hard. Well done. What about lit? Lit. L-I-T. Lit. Do you know the meaning of lit? Haha, <laughs> Trinity, I'm faster. <laughs> I am super speed. Lit. Lit, Felin. You are right. Lit comes from legit. 
For those that don't know, lit comes from legit, as sus comes from suspicious, lit comes from legit. But in this case, legit, lit just means awesome, great, that's lit, that's amazing, that's awesome. L Lucas's live stream is lit, right? Lucas's teaching is lit. It's legit and amazing. Lit. All right. Of course, no cap. Ooh, you can improve your English in our community every single day. No cap. English isn't difficult if you practice with us. No cap. No cap, no lie. So, what does no lie mean? Because no lie isn't really good English. Saying no lie isn't really good English. So what does no cap mean? Honesty. Yes, no cap means honest or true. When something is true, it's the truth, it's honest, right? Well done.